Welcome to Stimulated Sessions. My name's Maggie. I'm here at A Sharp Studio with Mira. How are you doing? I'm wonderful. Very blessed. That's How are good. you? That's good. Good. Thank you. You've been super busy. I am. Been on stages, supporting, doing loads of things. What's going on? It's really exciting. So I've got my EP coming out. Yes. It's called Life. Oh, it's called and Life. It's, nice. Yes. And it's actually going to be a series. Mm -hmm. So this is the first one called Life and then I'll... Okay extend it to what it's going to be called afterwards. How but many series are you thinking three. of having? Three, okay. Yeah, yeah. I love stories. Mm -hmm. I love telling a story and this is the mature side of Mira. Finally, the, mm -hmm. you know, growing up, been in the hip hop for 20 years, mm -hmm. been doing music. And finally, mm -hmm. like 20 years, Mira has this first EP. And mm -hmm. it's like, okay, yeah. are you going to rap? Are you going to sing? <laughs> what are you going to do? Yeah. And I'm like, won't you see? Oh, amazing. So it's a nice um, progression. Mm -hmm. And I really love being that I did it in Sydney, yeah. which is um, my adopted mother's home. Mm -hmm. So it's nice to be back in Sydney yeah, and just yeah. enjoy, actually, the leisure side of life. Mm -hmm. um, living in Los Angeles for nine years mm -hmm. and learning about Hollywood mm -hmm. and acknowledging what the industry is about. That mm -hmm. really brought me to know what behind the scenes, mm -hmm. you know, because I did a lot of music videos, mm -hmm. um, learned a lot from directors and mm -hmm. really saw who makes an artist. Mm -hmm. And that's what I loved about being in Los Angeles, awesome. you know, knowing mm -hmm. that the artist is just the pawn, mm -hmm. the sound engineers, mm -hmm. lights, you know, it takes a lot of team. It does. Yeah, it takes yeah, yeah. a huge teamwork mm -hmm. to make everything happen for yeah. that one individual. So sure. I, I needed that, at, you know, in my 20s yeah. to just be like, okay. So it made me more humble and mm -hmm. appreciative yeah. of um, the music industry. Mm -hmm. Why? So do you think that's the main reason why it took you so long to bring out your EP? No, not at all. I think the main thing about it is there's so many people, unfortunately, mm -hmm. that I resemble. Mm -hmm. So it was, or because um, I'm actually half Indonesian, mm -hmm. half African American, mm -hmm. and I wasn't enough. That's what okay. I was told oh, wow. in the industry. Mm -hmm. You're not a, you're not black enough, and you're not Asian That's enough. That's terrible. And there's this word that I politely do not like. Yeah. And it's called exotic. Because to uh, me, yes. a rug yeah. and a teacup yeah. set is exotic. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I'm like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so ever since then, I'm like, I'm politely, I can't stand that word. Yeah. It's not a compliment. I actually me. think that's a bit weird as well. Okay, I think, good. I used I'm to live, Yeah, I used to live in London and people were like, yeah, people like you because you're exotic. Yeah, you're I'm so like, exotic. am I exotic though? I'm so exotic. It's not like every day. But you look like a different type of like brown skin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, I never <laughs> Yeah, I think I completely understand you there. Yeah. yeah. So I just kind of was like, okay, and it was always I reminded them of somebody mm -hmm. or my tone, and mm -hmm. I think what it is is I come from the same cloth. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm happily forty, and I don't mind advertising yeah. it. Mm -hmm. I'm a proud forty-year-old, actually. Mm -hmm. You don't look it, so thank you, but seriously. Blazing <laughs> persuasion, <laughs> but uh, it's that moment of acknowledging self and kind of going, I know who I am now. Mm -hmm. And everything that I say or share, yeah. mm -hmm. it's finally me. Yeah, and I'm doing amazing. a project that I'm not actually, obviously as an artist, we always care for what people think, but mm -hmm. I'm actually at that mature stage that this is what I'm doing. Yeah. And if you don't like it, politely just don't like it. Mm -hmm. And if I learn from your, you know, anything that you yeah. may say that you don't like about it, then mm -hmm. I can learn from it. For but, sure. you know, it's this new generation. And yeah. just like, yeah. So, yeah, I just, I'm just being. Yes. Yes. Well, you're just being you. I mean me. <laughs> I like Which being is good me. because a lot of musicians, I think that's, I mean, as a writer as well, yeah. being able to be yourself is actually the hardest thing. Yeah, I have a, you, a, a lot of self doubt. There's a lot of, yeah. I have mm -hmm. a song that's called No Matter, and mm -hmm. that was a song that I wrote after being on a set yeah. where the person told me, I'm sorry, you're not black enough for this what? role. Uh, and then I went to the one next door, mm -hmm. which was a different audition, and mm -hmm. You're not Asian enough for this role. Oh, so I went crazy. home and I started writing this verse and yeah, this yeah. chorus about mm -hmm. it. And it was just awesome. And I yeah. was like, okay. And that kind of really injected a whole style for me. Mm -hmm. So it actually, you know, from these mistakes or these challenges in life, yeah. it was that maturity of tick. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's when I realized I need to start learning to be better for self. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I'm not only a musician, I'm mm -hmm. a youth worker. Yes. So, you know, five days a week. Mm -hmm. I'm a youth worker yeah, yeah, yeah. and I'm implementing and encouraging ideas that mm -hmm. are creative mm -hmm. 
to three year olds to seventeen year olds, oh, well. you know, mm -hmm. and they're just that at that age where mm -hmm. they're hungry but they don't yeah. know what they're really starving mm -hmm. for. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. more so but it's more that, okay, well, we as youth workers or creative people, we have all these different type of vegetables. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, as mm -hmm. far as like here, let us introduce you to this. Mm -hmm. There's some junk food out there. <laughs> Taste it. It might not be great for you. Know, yeah. But yeah. So you might enjoy here. it for a little bit. Uh, yeah, well, might enjoy yeah. it, but you know, here. <laughs> Yeah. Have some of these. Yeah, then, yeah. You know, I, I love seeing them when they metaphorically get it and mm -hmm. go, oh my God. Yeah. Okay, I can be me. I can yeah, do yeah. this. You yeah. know? Especially in Australia, I think mm -hmm. it's, I'm learning a lot about um, from being ethnic, mm -hmm. growing up in Australia. Yes, yes. there are ethnicities <laughs> in this country. I'm going to just let you know. Yes, yes. It's not just Austra yeah. Australian. Australian yeah. is yeah. a beautiful melting pot yeah, of human of beings. Uh -huh. And um, I think that's another mm -hmm. thing that's important for the young ethnic Australians mm -hmm. to talk about where they're from. Yeah, Be yeah. proud of where they're from. Mm -hmm. A lot of young African children that I've mm -hmm. met, you know, all of a sudden they have this American accent and they're yeah. like, yeah, I'm from Bronx, BK all yeah. day. And yeah. I'm like, no, sweetheart, yeah. there's no K, <laughs> yeah. that's Brooklyn. <laughs> Bless. You know, like, you yeah, know, and I'm yeah. like, where are you really from? Yeah, like, what, yeah. are you, what are you proud of? Yeah. And you'll say some beautiful place, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, and you'll be like, can you please hopefully resonate that energy? Yeah, You're definitely. from there. Mm -hmm. Your family's from there. Be mm -hmm. proud. So I'm yeah. one of them people yeah. that really love to stimulate the soul yeah, there you go. individual yeah, yeah, yeah. of where you actually find. That's amazing. I think, well, I'm super excited to find out what life is all about because you have not life life. No, like I know. Your. <laughs> EP life. <laughs> um, just because it feels like you've gone through a lot. Yes. And this is now you trying to express yourself and then perhaps help others yes. along the way. But I'm not one of those, you know, I yes, I'm a conscious artist, mm -hmm. but I feel that you can still groove to me. I'm yeah. not like trying to teach you anything. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. not one of those preachy mm -hmm. people. Yeah. It's more so like the first song is called So Right and mm -hmm. it's about being a B girl and feeling that song. Like, you know, when you hear that song, yeah. you got your old you know, old school the backpack yeah, or yeah. and you put it in your earphones and you're like, Oh, this beat is so <laughs> right you know. Yeah. yeah. And then the second song's about the metaphor of loving mm -hmm. hip hop, mm -hmm. but at the same time, I've, I've fallen in love with this cat that I call mm -hmm. my king, mm -hmm. and he's definitely assisted me through art development. Awesome. You know, and yeah, allowing yeah. me to grow as an artist mm -hmm. and be this person and woman that mm -hmm. I've become. Yeah, yeah. You know, and I've been married 19, yeah. well, 19 years together, 17 wow. years married. Wow. Mm -hmm. You know, so we've both are a team yeah. together to mm -hmm. have this beautiful evolution of. Yeah, yeah amazingness and yeah. now you know everything on the um ep is live yeah amazing so you know yeah, big yeah. ups to the musicians yeah and of course it's just beautiful that's exciting mm. so when is that due to drop i'm hoping july 4th which is my okay. birthday oh nice but yeah at the end of the day yeah, yeah. you know it's taken this long to mm -hmm. do it it's yeah. definitely going to be 2016 okay but mm -hmm. you know just make sure that it's, it's, it's growing. Yeah, it's getting yeah. there. Amazing. Yeah. That's really cool. I'm learning a lot with different tours as well with yeah. our first line. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking that as well. You've been doing, going on tour with him. Yeah. Yeah. How's that been? I love it. It's mm -hmm. such a beautiful organic band. Yeah, great. You know, the way we met was perfect. Mm -hmm. He saw strength in me. Amazing. And now mm -hmm. I get to learn on stage how to, from performing like his, as a hype man, but uh -huh. also lead vocalist. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. So. Big ups to the family. Yeah, definitely. I love that family. Yeah, no, he's great. Yeah. And it's that whole, like, that ethnic thing that you're talking about as well. Yeah. He kind of embraces that too, which yeah. is amazing. Yeah, and mm. it's acknowledging that whole spirit within, you mm -hmm. know. And before a show, we always, um, we actually hold hands together and have this meditation yeah. and allowing people to um, just give thanks mm -hmm. within. Yeah, yeah. So, and that's what I'll be performing yeah. tonight about giving meditation and thinking about, you know, your self-doubt, yeah. try to eradicate it away and mm -hmm. try to make sure that you're okay. Yeah. You know, and it's okay, we got a family, you yeah. know that. I think it's it's a lovely saying, but now it's just become corny, but I still <laughs> love it. That teamwork makes a dream work, you know, <laughs> out, yeah. But I just love it because it, yeah. it actually it does. does. It yeah, really for does. sure, yeah. So, you know, I mean, there's people hands. filming this, so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly, big ups to them.
wouldn't look at me Oh, well, that's great. So you're going to play that for us now. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming through. No, really, I really, really it. appreciate and it. I appreciate you stimulating the souls of people Thank and you. letting them acknowledge that they are creative people worldwide and we have so much to say as independent artists. Yeah. Because without you, there's no us, you know, so it's teamwork. Thanks, Thank you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>